Uh, Robbie White, congratulations. That was an incredible innings over a few days. Um, you were one run short in the end, but I'm sure many people have said to you already that you know a big 50 today, let alone a 99, would be worth many a century on other grounds. Uh, yeah, I was delighted. Um, delighted I could con contribute to um, to the team in what was a really tricky um, first couple of days. I think, yeah, probably not the best toss to lose, and um, yeah, to had a tough sort of 10 or 12 overs on the first day, and then a tough sort of 50 or 60 under lights in the gloom um, yesterday. So. Yeah, it was it was great to just knuckle down and and try and get through um, and let the bowlers probably dominate for for most of that time. Um, and then this morning with the the sun out was a bit easier and yeah managed to put a good partnership on with Jim there and and yeah put on get nearer to a reasonable score. Good partnership with Jack as well. I mean he batted ninety one minutes I think um, for his runs, which you know last night he was beating himself up about the runs, but I said to him at that time was incredibly important for Middlesex to go on and get that total that they have gone on to get today. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it was really good to be out there, um, obviously his first game. So, yeah, it was, it was just about getting through um, yesterday. I think, yeah, with those sort of 50, 60 overs, if they'd if they'd skittled us, then that would have set them up quite nicely to, to go past us and, and try and win the game from there. So we needed to just knuckle down and get through. And So, yeah, that partnership with Jack and then with Jimmy was really important. First, it was a first championship 50, um, and obviously it was just one run shy of a first of a maiden ton. Um, but the championship 50 in itself, that would have been a big moment for you, first of all, wouldn't it? Especially in this situation, I'm sure you recognised how important uh, that 50 was in this match. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I was, I was yeah, obviously really pleased to to get there and probably um, yeah, I'd like to get a, got a score for um, the few games that I've had sort of in the last couple of years. So mm -hmm. probably about time that I um, put on a score and I was glad to do it in a position that the team really needed it. Did you feel any of that pressure? I mean, look, the club all the way through have always talked about you in the highest regard uh, and your ability with the bat, but did you feel that pressure that I need to get this score? Uh, yeah, I think, I think you do. Um, when you haven't probably got that, that significant contribution. But were um, you able to shut it out out there? Yeah, I mean, you got you got to, and there's always lots of thoughts thoughts going through your head, and it's been a funny... Because that's the key, isn't months. it? Yeah. And that's if you're, you're able to do it now, that's a good sign, because yeah. this was pressure. Yeah, it was, um, and it's, it's, yeah, it's not been an ideal few months, really, in terms of normal normal breath breakings mm. for a season, so yeah, I was, I was just uh, really glad that today was uh, my day, really. Mm. And you were the senior safest one out there. The um, in terms of that partnership with Jack Davis, I'm sure you played with him in the in the seconds, and obviously Martin Anderson as well, and Max. Over the years, you were the senior safe with some of the uh, the youngsters in this match. Now. Yeah, it's been nice actually to to play with a lot of those guys that we've played together for a long time um, through even the age groups and obviously the academy and second team cricket. So it's great to see guys like you know Martin's obviously had a great year. Max has has been. Um, really strong for a couple of years now so it's, it's good to see the guys coming through and playing with them so yeah really special Get a chance to speak to the coach yet? I'm sure if he hasn't he will be putting his arm around you at some point and saying that was pretty special Yeah he's been he's been great um, yeah he was just really really glad that um, I managed to, to dig in and I think yeah he was he was full of compliments which was great Which is his request as well dig in um, which obviously for all the county cricketers in recent years has been tough those April May fixtures um, and even September fixtures, um, but his, his mantra has always been, look, be 60 for one at lunch, not 100 for three, 100 for four. Yeah, definitely, and I think yeah, you've got to play the conditions, and um, you know some of the games in the, la in the last few weeks in sunshine's probably been more batter-friendly, um, batter-dominated conditions, so I suppose it's just recognising the times that the bowlers are going to be on top and allowing them to do that and sort of soaking up the, the pressure and then you know you're going to get a time later on when the ball's old and the sun's out that you can cash in and luckily that happened this morning. And sadly for this match it probably will run out of time unless the bowlers can do something pretty special in the morning and maybe allow the batsman uh, a chance to set something, I'm sure you won't offer anything to Kemp, but put it out of sight and see if there's just a little bit of time to put some pressure on tomorrow night. Yeah, you never know. I mean, it's it's really frustrating that we've lost the amount of time we did. I think, yeah, we're a bit unlucky with sort of catching quite a few showers in the first two days. Um, but otherwise, it's set up really nicely for um, you think, yeah, probably looking about level, or hopefully we could we could get them under our score. So um, yeah, if, if there wasn't as much time lost, then I think that would that would be a a good chance for us to try and set them a, a significant score. But yeah, barring a um, some real um, early wickets tomorrow, I think it could be could be tough.